I think this is a critical issue uh, for the well-being and safety of our children in schools. We send them off to school every day. We expect them to be getting clean, healthy drinking water uh, at school. This is a no-brainer as far as I'm concerned to set some standards for testing and to require testing. It came to uh, Assemblywoman Lopardo's and my attention because of issues uh, at schools in our, in our districts that we represent, particularly uh, in Ithaca and in uh, Binghamton. And to come to learn that there are no standards or requirements for testing the water was simply mind-boggling uh, to me. And we have an opportunity here to do something about it with this legislation. Uh, we need to move it uh, to the floor of both houses for a vote and get it done before the end of session this year. We can't continue uh, to allow our students in schools uh, to drink unknown quality water uh, in the schools. You know, we're living uh, right now uh, with um, the number one issue in the state of uh, Hoosick Falls and PFOA and people's drinking water and concerns over that. We know that the lead levels are high in many of our schools. You see the, the pinpoints here where they've been recognized. How many that haven't tested are also elevated and how many parents don't know what their children are drinking is safe uh, in the schools when they send them off. This is a simple step to require the Department of Health to come up and the Department of Education to come up with standards uh, to set uh, forth the required testing and protocols for doing that testing to make sure that we're getting lead and copper free water uh, in our children's drinking water. It really is a no brainer as far as I'm concerned and it's time that we get the lead out of school drinking water. Uh, I thank you uh, for being here today and helping us get some attention uh, on this very important issue and for all my colleagues for being here with us today too.